Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. This is TokuFan22, and I just wanted to bring you a little bit of gameplay of Destiny, mainly just to give you a few updates and messages on some stuff that's going to be coming up in the next few months. First off, I'm still working on recording. Mainly trying to get it to where you can hear the voices a little better as far as everyone else that I interact with online because I know that it's always very muffled uh, sometimes you can't really hear them at all but I'm, I'm working on that I'm going to look into trying to get a game capture device maybe at some point but for now this is pretty much all that I can really do another thing since I'm showing you a little bit of uh, Destiny gameplay is that as you can see I'm working on a toy box but at the same time I'm also working on a pet project well one of many pet projects this one in particular is going to be a story that's based around Disney Infinity I know that some people have done this especially through Machinima or like what if you've seen Red vs. Blue uh, something a little similar to that this is something that I've always wanted to do especially since I've seen other people like uh, this one guy who did this thing called Smash Fighter a few a few years back. Again, mentioning uh, Red vs. Blue, Miss Montillon, that guy was a genius. Uh, then there's also uh, a whole lot of other stuff out there, just machinimas in general. But I hope to create a story, my own original story, uh, using Disney Infinity. So... I hope that it all goes the way that I want to. There's some people that I have in mind as far as voice acting in this. So I, I'm just going to keep keep working on it. So it's going to be a while, but it, I'm, I'm going to keep working on it. And I really hope that I'll be able to bring this to life in the near future. Another thing that I wanted to talk about when it comes to Disney Infinity, I've been enjoying the game, so I'm going to post more gameplays of that as well. What really makes it even better is that I ended up getting this after Christmas, but I already had Disney Infinity since 1.0. So while I did sell the game and not get much for it for 1.0, I waited a little longer for 3.0, and that was because... 2.0 and 3.0 were so close together as far as when they came out. I didn't bother trying to get that one. Although I did want to because, come on, Marvel superheroes for crying out loud. Anyway, one of the things that I wanted to avoid was having to get a whole other starter pack and everything, which from what I heard, I thought I had to do. But thankfully, I don't. In fact, I, have the, I still have the base from when Disney Infinity 1.0 came out. And when I had it, it was on the PS3. So while I still had the base from PS3, I plugged it into my PS4, and now it works. I just found out it worked. All I had to do was just get a playset that would be from 3.0, and I was good to go. It, um, and I just saved a good amount of money from uh, instead of having to go and buy a whole other starter pack. Because let's face it, those things are not cheap. But it felt good being able to use some of the characters, new and old. So, as I mentioned before, I really hope that I'll be able to uh, do a lot of gameplays as well as some stories behind uh, some my own original stories for Disney Infinity. I'm trying to make sure that I've covered everything. Plus, I want to make sure that I get everything within the duration of this video again. Another thing that I wanted to mention, and I know that I needed to do this as well. In my hometown of Albany, Georgia, we had, as of last year, we had a uh, convention. We had our own convention. Uh, it's, it's called Epicon, and we're doing it again this year. It was It's going to be on uh, in August. Uh, you'll be able to check online with it. You'll be able to look for it. Uh, you can choose. You can go to Epicon 2015. Type that in on Facebook, and it'll show you how things went last year. And the turnout for it, the turnout for the event was much better than expected. In fact, that's what inspired me to do this. That's what. That's how I was discovered by the good people that I've been working with. 
and conversating with within Epicon. And it's been a real, it's been a real experience. It's been a real blast. I've enjoyed it. I enjoyed the event. I enjoyed meeting, greeting people. I went there in a cosplay that I made of my very own, and it's just been, it's just been going pretty good ever since. But I want to mention it because I'm inviting you to come to Epicon. Those of you that are watching, first off, let me say thank you for watching some of my vids. The other thing that I want to mention is that, of course, you are definitely welcome. We have people of all types uh, that were at Epicon last year, and we hope that you will enjoy it this year. Hopefully a bigger turnout than before, but it was just, it, it was just great. It's basically bringing the conventions like with MomoCon, which I also went to last year, uh, DragonCon, Comic-Con, all those that are usually in the bigger cities further up north. We're just basic, basically being, bringing that home, bringing that closer to home because not everybody has the funds or the ability to travel there, so we just bring it a little closer here. So anybody from all over is welcome to join, is welcome to attend. Uh, there's going to be tournaments, there's going to be vendors, there's going to be a lot of cosplay Anything that you would find at that at a convention. It might be on a smaller scale, at least for now, because we're just getting started. Again, this will be the second one that we've had. But I invite you to come out. It's a really good experience. It's just bringing it closer to home for those that have always wanted to go but have never had the opportunity. So I hope that you all will be able to attend. And I almost forgot. <laughs> I also wanted to mention that uh, I'm still doing the voice acting for those of you that know about me. I'm still doing the voice acting for the podcast known as YA Live or Young Avengers Live, which is basically a radio podcast that's put up on SoundCloud. I, I want to say that it's up by now, but I would have to double check. Uh, you can find us on SoundCloud, just hashtag YA Live. And. It's basically a radio podcast about the Young Avengers. I play David Allen, who is also known as Prodigy. My brother, Static Lee 14, also known as the Epic Chef, he plays Eli Bradley, also known as Patriot. So for those of you that are familiar with the comic books, that are familiar with the characters, uh, I hope that you, you will uh, take a listen to it. You can find it on SoundCloud. I have it posted up on my Facebook page as far as links and everything. But uh, we're, we were celebrating the anniversary of when we first got started. Because it was around the holiday season that we got started with our first few episodes as well as uh, the holiday special. Which was the first thing that, that hit SoundCloud. So we're doing another holiday special right now where everything should be in the works. Everything should be done right about now. And <laughs> Sorry. Lost my train of thought there again. That happens a lot. But <clears throat> we also will have our fourth episode posted up around the same time as the second holiday special. So again, this is an anniversary for us all, and I did enjoy working with everybody. I enjoyed being able to put my voice out there, and I have to give my brother another shout out because he was the one that got me involved with the project, and I always enjoy working with these on them. I hope that I'll be able to continue working on more with them, as well as some of the ones that I'm putting together myself. So on that, again, hashtag YA Live. You'll be able to find some of the commentary that we have on our on the YouTube page, as well as the episodes themselves you can find on SoundCloud. So I hope that you will take time to listen to us, and I hope that you will enjoy. I think that's about all that I have for now. I will have some more videos posted up soon. As a matter of fact, I can tell you uh, soon we will probably have some more Destiny gameplay up. Because things have gotten really crazy. We've joined up with more people. Things have gotten crazy. Things have gotten funny. And things have gotten pretty awesome. And we've also gotten stronger as well. So, again, I hope that you'll look forward to all the videos that I post. 
thank you all who have already been viewing in I hope that you will continue to view all the videos that I put out I'll try to put out as many as I can I'll try to put out as much as I can because besides that I still have a job I still go to school so it's gonna be less for now but I, I still want to continue to do this because I have been enjoying it so far I just want to make sure that I've covered everything before I sign off but again I just want to say thank you for viewing my vids thank you for any comments that you may have posted already I haven't had a chance to check yet but I hope that everybody enjoys what I put out there uh, thank you and uh, once again I hope to see you in the next few episodes